Why, hello everybody, welcome, my name is Ruby Dung, welcome to today's episode. As you can see, it's a bit of a rainy day here. There's a little bit of a drizzle going on outside, but it's about to go down, the sun's about to go down, so I'm just about to pop myself into the bed here. But, uh, today I am planning on doing, uh, some workarounds, particularly, I am hoping to get a design up for the vault. In case anyone is uninformed, there is a, a little bit of a collection I have in this world. Um, it's over in this chest right over here. Um, it's my rare collections chest, which means if I open it up, there is three items contained inside that are functionally impossible to get your hands on nowadays. Um, with the exception of one, every single world contains a single dragon egg. There are duplication methods that I am aware of, however, I don't really see much of a reason to do it, so I am just going to be sticking with just the one egg. Then I have the other two items, which are the locked chests. These were an item added back during uh, the April Fool's update about a year or two ago. Um, in which case, what it uh, simply is, uh, well, what it was, was uh, a chest. It was a full, well, classic full block chest, and you weren't capable of opening it. And if you tried, it would send you to an external link, basically being like, hey, you want to buy all these joke items that actually aren't in the game because this game doesn't have in-game purchases. So <laughs> it was a little rift item, but uh, they left it in the game, and I still have a hold of it, but they still deleted the texture for the item. So what remains now is uh, missing textures and a single thing of an emerald block because uh, one portion of the emerald block is represented on the actual item, like where the actual uh, texture file it took from. And nowadays, where the top of that item where it used to take that texture from is since been deleted, and now what lies in its place is the emerald block. So a little bit of a trivia for you there. But the third item I have is a diamond pickaxe containing both Fortune 3 and Silk Touch 1, which I got back when fortunes, uh, back when enchantments were first added, not just uh, fortune, back when enchantments were first added. Uh, and I just locked into this. This was the first pickaxe I got, and I was like, okay, I'm really needing a work pickaxe, and I got this, which I was sort of disappointed by, but looking back, it's a very funny thing, because, like, almost immediately after that episode, like, every other pickaxe I enchanted after that, they fixed that glitch, so I just kind of lucked into this pickaxe somehow. I didn't even know this was a thing that was possible, so very interesting. So I have these three items that I have in this world, and my hope is now that I want to build a vault. Um, so what I'm initially planning for this vault is, I'm wanting it to be a harder to access kind of vault, and I designed over there a few episodes back the world's slowest movement, which is what I'm wanting to do for the vault. I'm wanting it to be quote-unquote secure, so in order to get in and out, it's going to take at least a minute just to walk into the thing as kind of like a security precaution, so that way no one can just stumble their way in there without anyone seeing. Even though this is a single-player world, it doesn't make any sense, it's just inconveniencing myself, but I like the grandiose idea. Also, I might want to build a little bit of a piston door system. I don't have any piston doors in this world, like, at all, like, period. I don't think I use a single piston door. The only time they use pistons are the sugarcane farm and the pumpkin melon farm. Uh, I use one in the nether to get myself up onto the roof. Um, and I don't think I use pistons anywhere else in this world. Uh, no, wait, I use pistons at the what is now broken sand generator. And, uh, over at the netherwork farm as well. But, yeah, that's every single place that I include pistons, and not a single one of them are doors. So, that is probably something I'm going to be including on that. 
Um, but also while I am including that over there, I need to find a little bit of a location, which I think I already know where I'm going to be putting it. It's going to be in a area that I think I actually want to kind of close off because I keep building uh, and designing as if I'm going to keep expanding in that direction, and I feel it's a bad idea. I feel um, like if I go down this way and make a turn here, uh, there is a turn there and a turn here. There is nothing built over here yet, but I do want to build something here. But, uh, actually I probably could build the vault over here, but I actually don't want to. I'm going to make my own big thing for that. Actually, no, do I want to... Mm, okay, I'm a little bit divided on whether I want to build the vault. I kind of want to... I actually think I kind of want to build the vault here now that I think about it. But, uh, I'm either going to build the vault there or... I would build it over here, and um, instead of the platform going off in this direction, like I plant, like I've built it to, it'd probably go a few blocks, then go into a little door system. Then I would have the little trail, the little walkthrough, and then the actual vault room, which would actually be quite small. I'm not wanting it to be the room itself to be too big. I'm wanting it to be more comparable to a safe. In which case, I actually think this room over here is more usable for that, because I didn't know what I was going to use this room for. I just kind of kept it open, because I knew at some point I might do something with it. I didn't know what, but I could do something. But I think this is a good thing for it. I could go all the way over to that back wall there, uh, put in uh, the double chest that would contain the... Uh, lock chests, on this side I would put the dragon egg, on this side I'd put the pickaxe, I think. And I just need to put a very short thing to walk into, and then here I would put in the actual pistons. And I have a little bit of actual, ooh, knocks that off, I have a little bit of actual room to work with. So, I am going to grab my pistons here and put in the door to start with, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, I have gone through and have built up the door. As you can see, I'm using pistons for this, just because I think it works well for the texture of this. But, I have a secret little button here, kind of hidden a little bit. It's actually pretty hard to see, so you walk up and see this and be like, oh, what's this all about? You look around, you see this little button, and this opens up like that. This is the best I could do with the compact area. If you look at this angle, it was actually really hard. I couldn't go above because uh, there's dripping water everywhere, so... If I went above at any point, I would have to deal with that. Uh, off to the sides, I would interfere with these windows. So I had to go below. And I also couldn't go below too far, though, or else it was extremely obvious if you were next to the base. Because this entire area op uh, over here does need to get covered up and will probably be covered up this episode. But uh, when I hit this button here, a boop. The doors open up and then close right behind me, and then I'm on the way of a path, in which case it's probably going to be like a two-block thing, and then I would turn. Because apparently, uh, from the way this is looking, I'm fast approaching this, and if I open up that, uh, we wind up into a problem. Oh, buddy, the fix those torches again. But, um, can't go any further that direction, or else I hit water. Technically, I guess I could put a slab there, like, uh, let me actually grab a slab. I'm not using these, because these are the special slabs, and I want to use these, uh, only during a crucial moment where I need to, uh, stop fires now, because in the event I lose them, I can't get them back, so I want to be careful with them. Uh, and I also want to go down here, grabbing torches that went away. Apparently there is this massive spot here. It wound up revealing itself one day, and I still don't know how it got here, so... <laughs> uh, I need to pick up all this. Um, and put it all back down. So three, boom, uh, then three, boom, then three, boom, uh, over here. I have to put this up so much because I will end up breaking that out so many times while building this thing. <laughs> Uh, but, now the next part is I have to figure out how I'm going to jam the vault in there. But first, I want to put in the actual slowing, uh, part of the actual vault. So, uh, I'm going to go through and put that in. So, I am going to put in the slow portion of the vault and be back with you guys here in a second. 
Alright, I've gone through and have built up most of the vault now. If I push this button and walk through, you will immediately see all of the changes I've done. It's very compact, uh, which I was wanting to do. Um, but if I go over here, I can slowly march my way through the webs of the soul sand. Soul sand is on ice. Um, there is water here as well, which is also having me slow down an additional amount because you move slower on water. I don't know if the water's doing anything, because I, I feel like the water doesn't actually do anything, but it might. Uh, but when I reach the other end here, boom, uh, we get a little bit of a water display. This is from the wheat farm. You actually can see it all up there. I might be able to actually punch, oh, I can, I can punch the wheat up there. Um, which means if I had seeds, I could also plant up there if I wanted. So if I wanted to harvest wheat from down here, I could. Uh, but, more importantly, there's a chest here with a little window uh, that gives me a view of where the wheat collection center is. Which, that block down there, that is the wheat collection, in which case the stairs to come up. Uh, which means I am walking about on the same level here as you would be to collect the wheat, which is uh, for the rest of the base, basically, unless you go to another floor, because uh, there isn't any level changing in the space. So that is consistent, meaning this is one of the few times the base has a level change just to walk from one area to another. So interesting little trivia there. But now what I want to do is I want to put in each of the individual items here, which I, it means I have to slowly march my way through this web, then I have to slowly march my way all the way back and get all the items into that chest right there. So I'm almost on the other side of this now. I also want to show um, that this is completely hidden. Uh, on the actual main thing of the wheat farm, also pick up all that seeds that I accidentally punched out there. Well, I didn't accidentally. I kind of did it on purpose. Can't exactly call it accidental if I uh, punch it out on purpose. <laughs> but if I go all the way over here through this side of the base and down here, uh, and then make a left, you will see this is where the wheat farm is, in which case, I cannot see where that chest is, and if I come all the way up here, still are not capable of seeing that, and also because of how the angles are here, uh, you're not really able to see it in the vault, so it is completely hidden. I think the uh, best chance, no, not even through here, yeah, never mind, so yeah, you just cannot see any part of that vault from that angle. So, um, now what I'm going to do is go all the way over here and grab my main items after throwing uh, each of these in here. Wait, uh, I still have the seeds, which means it's into the void. Um, but if I come around here and open up this chest, I can grab each of these individual items, which I have to be very careful with not to lose them come all the way around here and make my way through the vault. So, um, I'm going to be doing that here very quickly. Um, but, as I'm going through and putting all of this away, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode because I'm going to be ending it right here. Um, wanted to mainly get this vault built up in today's episode. I've been talking about it for a couple of ones. I'm probably going to do some expansions to it as well. I can see expanding this vault out a little bit at a time, but I'm not wanting to do too many expansive things. Like, I kind of might want to make this uh, web thing here more of an intersection uh, for the future, maybe? I'm not quite sure. I kind of want to do something like that, I'm, but that would involve messing around with the water streams a little bit, but I think that should be fine, because, uh, how my water streams are already laid out, so, but uh, let me put each of these items in here. Boom, 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 then boom, and boom. Just like that, we have a nice little layout of how the actual chest is. So, uh, one long chest in a corner, one dragon egg, and one pickaxe. So, that is a nice cool little thing there. 
I might wind up doing a thing in the future where the uh, dragon egg will be taken out of here and placed down. I can't do the lock chest because lock chests decay after being placed. Uh, like they decay like leaves decay, so can't have that placed down in the vault, sadly. Uh, even though I think that would be a cool little effect. Also, you can't get them back once you place them down. Uh, which I would be extremely scared about placing them down in the event uh, I decided to do that. So, wouldn't wind up doing that anyways. But uh, now the vault is nice and complete. Uh, am I capable? Well, I think I... Okay, yeah, I'm capable of sprinting in this thing. But, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you have any ideas of things you want to see me do in the future... Uh, for this space, I have a billion things that are going on in this, uh, just world in general. Uh, so I always love to hear ideas that you guys might want to see me work on the future, things you want to see me expand on, ideas, concepts, different things like that. I'm always open to sort of, uh, those sorts of things, so hope to, uh, see feedback on that. Also, uh, picking up all these eggs, even though I do not have space for them in my storage, so I'm just kind of wasting my time now at this point, but... Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Uh, see ya. Uh, so long. Um, bye.